Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if iOS 17 has paused or isn't downloading for you. Now, you're going to want to follow these steps in order to resolve this issue. So let's get started. So usually when you're happening to download iOS 17 and you're getting this pause on your device, first thing is to check the iPhone that you have actually is compatible with this so iPhone SE second generation or the iPhone 10R, 10S or 10S Max or anything newer will get iOS 17. iPhone 10 or anything older does not get iOS 17. So even if you see iOS 17 there, it just won't download for you. Now the next thing to do whenever you're having this issue is turning your phone by pulling out the control menu here, put it on airplane mode for a moment and turn it back off just like that. You can also do this from the settings here by going to your settings, airplane mode on and off. And it does a quick network refresh of all of your network settings so that if you're having any issues with the network, it'll hopefully resolve that issue. Now, the other thing you also want to make sure whenever you're downloading in your settings software update, this update that you're looking for, make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged. Highly recommend keeping it even charged during the whole process because you don't want the phone to die. And sometimes for some reason, Apple requires that phones are at least 50% are charged when it's downloading these big major updates because it requires a lot of power. Now the next thing I recommend is doing is if you can, instead of using cellular data, use your Wi-Fi in order to do the download of these packages because the thing is when you do a software update, sometimes you'll notice the software update itself could be five to six gigs or up to even 10 gigs on the phone which requires sort of half an hour to 45 minutes to download all of that before you can install it. So make sure that you have enough storage. And and next thing you wanna check is the storage itself. So you can go in your settings, go to general, iPhone storage, and under the iPhone storage, you wanna sure, make sure that you have at least 10 gigs, if not more, available. As you can see here, it'll tell you how much you're using here on the phone. I'm using 1700 out of 128 gig, so I'm good. But if you're using like, let's say maybe 125 gig out of 128 gig or very close to that limit, I recommend is deleting maybe some longer format videos, photos, apps, so that you can free up some space in order to successfully download that update itself. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you want to do is in your settings here, you're going to go back to the general and the software update. Now, if you have updated your phone to a beta profile, like iOS 17 betas, delete the beta profile, which will show up there and you can click on delete. But you want to remove any beta profiles for iOS 17 that you have. Now, the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting is giving your phone a forced restart. So in order to do a forced restart, you're going to press and release the volume up. Press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo reappear, you'll let go of that button and then you'll be doing a forced restart. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button just like that. And the phone here, I'm not going to slide to power off. I'm going to wait till it just sh shuts down by itself. Completely black, it will go and then I will wait for the Apple logo to reappear and then I'll let go of that button. And what I have done is shut down the phone completely, reloading the software, the code. So if it's a software related issue or bug going on, it will fix those issue for us. And after you're back on your phone, probably gonna have to put in your passcode and go ahead into your settings, and then go to general software update and see if you can do the update itself here. And the update should load up and hopefully you can download and install it. Now, one thing I've seen for some users is that for some reason, the workaround you can do is go in your settings under display and brightness. Under auto lock, you want to set your auto lock to never when you're doing this download because sometimes when phone gets auto lock, some processes stop working like the Wi-Fi, for example. So you'll set this to never and then keep your phone plugged in and then try doing the software update again. See if that fixes for some reason when it auto locks sometimes there's a bug going on that's preventing it to download the update itself and lastly if you're still not able to get the update doing all this process I recommend is trying to download and install the update using your computer with the iTunes program which we discussed in another video which I'll leave the link 
for that video in the comment or the description section so you can see how you can do a software update through your computer which might be a little bit easier instead of trying to download the update if you just can't do it and it's just being paused over here so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time